what's going on metal maniacs of the world how the hell are you doing how you living are you holding up are you able to take a little bit more thrashy death metal today uh, a very interesting request from Sean our pal Sean he comes in with a band called Nihilist and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this he wants to do a song called Metal Mayhem well I go down and I look into the bio and there is no bio here on the Spotify they are on Spotify they're not so I go over to the old Wikipedia to find out about this band and I am blown away it is a fun nugget it is something that I have never known before I was a huge fan of a band called Entombed uh, my favorite albums were Left Hand Path and Clandestine or Clandestine I saw them on the Wolverine Blues Tour and uh, and this just blew my socks off. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the band Nihilist. And then I'm going to go over to the wiki page so we can read a little bit about uh, this band because they have no bio here on Spotify. Um, and I'm assuming this is going to be older stuff. So the years probably aren't going to match up. Uh, so we're just going to name the albums and we're not going to really put the year to it because... Um, I think it's going to be all goofed, but uh, this is a request for Sean, so let's get into Nihilist and learn about them. They have 9,209 monthly listeners to the Spotify, the top five songs. The number one, the one we're doing is Metal and Mayhem. Nihilist Kills is number two, Bastards of Beers, I like that. 9,548 plays, Vengeance is Mine is number four, and oh, it's on. And that is number, that's number five on their playlist. Let's look at albums. Um, it says here, this is weird because it says there's a new a single called Death Machine from 2011. Uh, but these years are completely whack, wackadoo uh, compared to the bio that I'm about to read from Wikipedia. So you've got Call Down the Thunder. And then you've got Blood Portraits, which uh, that's where Metal and Mayhem is from, is Blood Portraits. Let's look at related artists for this band. Of course, we know some of these. Uh, Three Inches of Blood, Zigzags. There's a thrash band I want to do at some point on the first listens, the Zigzags. Toxic Holocaust, sure. Uh, Early Man, uh, Municipal Waste, yes. Yeah. Skull Fist, there they are again. Oh, that was Skull Pit, right? Artillery, there they are again. Whiplash, there they are. Warbringer, Lich King, we've done them on the first listens. Havoc, we just did Havoc on the first listens. Enforcer, that's another band that I wanted to look into, is Enforcer. Nihilist, huh? Wow. Okay, so what So what I've done here, because I'm, I'm, I'm a professional at this, and uh, I've brought up the wiki page. We're not going to read the whole damn thing, but I thought it was very interesting. It kind of blew my socks off. Nihilist was a Swedish death metal band formed in 1987 by Nick Anderson and Alex Hillid. The band split up in 1989 when Johnny Hedlund left to form the band Unleashed. I saw Unleashed at a small club way, way back in the day, maybe 90, 1990 or something, and they opened for a band called, uh, a band called Epidemic opened for them. Um, and I don't know that, uh, the reason why is because I knew the guy that did the late night uh, 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 radio show on the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the NPR, the uh, college radio or whatever, and he said, why don't you guys come down because I'm going to have Unleashed in the studio, and I think the one fella, shut your goddamn, shut your goddamn mouth. Um, it couldn't speak much English is the reason why I remember that so well. And I really liked Epidemic, too. Uh, the remaining members reformed the band under the name Entombed. And now, of course, you got Entombed and Entombed AD. So those members have split up. Yes, put that in the comments below and explain all that sh shaz to me. Uh, Nihilus never recorded a full-length album before they renamed as Entombed, but a collection of their demo work was released in 2005. Okay, so that explains the 2008-2009 stuff. Guitarist uh, Leif Kuzner died in June, June 2016, uh, 2006. Yeah. Um... I mean, just, just insane, just craziness, because I, I love me some Entombed back in the day. And I haven't kept fully up with them. I, I want to believe that the, the good Entombed is Entombed AD now, yes? Put that in the comments below and tell me all about it. I haven't been keeping up with those guys as much as I should, but I did see them on the Wolverine Blues tour, and I think Unseen was the band that came with them on that tour. 
and that was at a small club too, and it was fantastic. And they let me introduce him, which I was blown away. I can't remember the, the, the guitar player, the black guy, but he was tuning his guitar. I'd had a few beers in me. I said, you should let me introduce you. And he was like, uh, all right, you know, he kind of went, all right. And then I'm standing over at a table, and he kind of gave, come over, come over. So I got up there, and it was one of the highlights of my, of my young youth. It's getting up there going, ladies and worms. Give it up for Entombed. And then they grabbed the microphone right from me. I did a nice little dive into the audience and they busted right into some shit. And I was like, and I was the hero. I was the hero of the neighborhood for at least one day. Um, uh, but that's all I've got for that. So very, very interesting stuff. And I can't wait. I've never heard this. I don't know what we're in for here. Um, the bio did say a little bit, uh, said a, a dash of thrash but mostly death metal, and I know Entombed as the death metal band. Um, one of my favorites. One of my favorites uh, of those types. So, I, I, I'm a bit flustered because I'm, I'm excited and scared and nervous to hear what this is going to sound like. But without further ado, Sean, you know what this is. This is the nipple. This is the magic teat that takes us, uh, gives us the mother's milk that we all truly wish for. Now, you've heard this because you're the one that requested this and said, check this out. So, um... I'm, I'm about to taste this right now, and we're all going to taste it together besides Sean. So here we go. Oh, boy. It's, it's got Harry fading it in. I got to get enough of this sucker. I can't. All right. Got to get it. I can't cue the song up with it. They did have a low tune, you know, like I said, overkill had a sound, and tuned had a guitar sound, too. See if that's here. Ladies and gentlemen, fucking nihilist. Wow! I don't remember much of Unleashed, so... Yeah. Yeah. Let the metal blare. This is just an ode to metal. Smell it in the air. He's got a lot of toms there. They got rid of those by Wolverine Blue's time. It was a little four piece. Yeah, that nice raw, what, 1987? Is that the bass all up high like that? Definitely not entombed, uh, entombed sounding to me, but. Oh! Metal and mayhem, metal and mayhem.
Pride! Gash metal's here to stay. I just love it when they go ape shit with the drums. So you better beware. They're definitely shredding those instruments up, huh? Took a little bit from the Iron Maiden school. Bass players. The bass players ride along with them. That was fantastic, Sean. That was fantastic. I like that just fine. Nihilist kills. So the singer, yeah, he had some of them high squealies, high pitchies. Turn this off. Had some of those high pitchies in there. Uh, so that was the dude that went off to start Unleashed. And then they, they formed the rest of the band. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, what say you? That's the most important part of this video. Sean brought this over. We took a look at it. We, we listened to it. I think it's pretty damn good. But what say you? Good, great, fantastic, wonderful. Yes, give me more of that. Shane, I'm going to go listen to all the demos from Nihilist. And then I'm going to go listen to Entombed. Or not good, not great, too old, too yucky, too crappy, too loose like a goose. Uh, put it in the comments below. Tell me what you thought of that. And... Um, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Be my friend Sean. Another thumbsy upsy for you. Uh, I love those little fun nuggets. I've never heard of that band. Did not know that they ever existed or that that happened before Entombed. I didn't even know the dude was actually started Unleashed when he left Entombed. So uh, that's all I've got for that. Giving kisses, saying bye bye.